Michael Caine is an icon around the globe for his work as an actor. With countless prestigious accolades under his belt, at least 115 appearances in film alone, and a career spanning over six decades, it's no wonder Michael Caine is widely considered one of the most successful actors in the world. He's listed as number 20 of the world's highest grossing box office stars. While fans in America praise him, it's nothing to how he's treated in his own country. He's defined the word cool in British popular culture since the 60s, and his bold and unique style sets him apart from everyone else. As he rose in popularity, viewers were shocked by his refusal to adopt King's English, an accent considered proper at the time. Instead, Michael Caine proudly bore his regional Cockney dialect. This was a risky move at the time, but has been well received throughout Britain. Michael Caine changed the game for other aspiring British actors. While Caine began his acting career in 1953, it wasn't until the 60s that he made his breakthrough, when he finally began starring in films such as Zulu, Battle of Britain, and Alfie. The film Alfie is also what earned him his first Academy Award nomination. He would be nominated five more times throughout his career, and would win the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor twice for the films Hannah and Her Sisters and The Cider House Rules. He also earned two Golden Globe Awards for Best Actor in the films Educating Rita and Little Voice. While Michael Caine is now well into his 80s, he hasn't given up yet. If he continues to deliver his impressive acting skills in the future, there's still a chance he may win the coveted Academy Award for Best Actor. Aside from working as an actor, Caine also has published an acting guide, as well as three memoirs. After all, with such a long and prolific career, you can hardly expect him to compact his entire life into just one memoir. In today's video, we're going to look at some surprising secrets of Michael Caine's career. Make sure you stick around because we're going to reveal why Michael Caine owes his career to John Wayne. He had a rocky start. Michael Caine was born in London on March 14, 1933. While he was still very young, he and his family had to be evacuated due to the violence of WW2. They were temporarily rehomed in Canada, as much of London had been damaged between the years of 1940 and 41. Thankfully, the family was able to move back to London before long. Young Michael had his first experience as an actor when he appeared in a school play of Cinderella, where he played the father of the ugly stepsisters. Before he truly pursued acting, however, he served as an infantryman and fought in the Korean War. It was a difficult time in his life, and he was relieved when he was able to return safely home. It wasn't until the 1950s that he began acting in film, however, when he was 20 years old. He owes his career to John Wayne. Michael Caine started out his acting career by appearing uncredited in various films. In the 60s, he finally had his breakthrough in British films and captured a few starring roles. Then he decided to take his talents to Hollywood. There, at the Beverly Hills Hotel, he met John Wayne. The two bonded instantly, and Michael Caine found John Wayne to be an excellent mentor and father figure. While Michael was already making a name for himself, he admits that he owes much of his career to John Wayne's advice. The film star told him, talk low, talk slow, and don't say too much. Michael Caine took this advice to heart, and before long he was making headlines for his amazing acting talent. Michael Caine also owes his health to another actor, Tony Curtis. While at a party in 1971, the two became acquainted. At the time, Kane was smoking multiple packs of cigarettes a day. Curtis ripped away his box of cigarettes and threw them into the fireplace, saying, you're going to die, Michael, if you keep doing that. Chagrined, Michael took it upon himself to quit. While it didn't exactly help his skills as an actor, it certainly improved his health. If Tony Curtis hadn't stopped him all those years ago, he may not have lived to be as old as he is now. He hasn't always been successful. Michael Caine is best known for his many successes and accomplishments as an actor. With five Academy Award nominations and two Golden Globes under his belt, it can be hard to remember that even the best actors experienced some low points in their career. In 1980, Caine was nominated for the Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Actor. That wasn't the best year of his career, as he appeared in the films The Island and Dressed to Kill, neither of which received particularly positive ratings. Thankfully, the award ended up being given to Neil Diamond instead. In 1987, however, Kane had to suffer yet another humiliation when he was nominated for the Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Supporting Actor after his appearance in the movie Jaws, The Revenge. 
Still, he accepted the bad press with all the grace and dignity you'd expect from someone as distinguished as himself. And he's proved his acting skills a hundred times over since then. His favorite role was Ebenezer Scrooge. Michael Caine has played dozens of iconic roles, but surprisingly enough, his favorite of all of these was his role as Ebenezer Scrooge in A Muppet Christmas Carol. His hard work in the film has earned him plenty of praise, and it's credited as being one of the best adaptations of A Christmas Carol ever. When he accepted the role, Michael Caine announced that, quote, I'm going to play this movie like I'm working with the Royal Shakespeare Company. I will never wink. I will never do anything Muppety. I'm going to play Scrooge as if it's an utterly dramatic role and there are no puppets around me. While Michael Caine had a lot of fun playing Ebenezer Scrooge, and he deeply enjoys acting, it isn't his only hobby. Make sure you stick around until the end of the video, where we'll reveal one of the crazy hobbies he does in his free time. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please take a moment to like it and subscribe to our channel for more. He married under odd circumstances. After divorcing his wife, Patricia Haynes, in 1962, Michael was left looking for love. He found it in a stunningly beautiful actress named Shakira Baksh, who he saw on a TV commercial. He fell head over heels and vowed to track her down. He was shocked to discover they actually lived quite close, and after finding her phone number, he asked her to dinner. Shakira found him just as charming as he found her. They married in 1973 and have been together ever since. He loved working with his brother. Michael was quite close with his brother Stanley, who was also an actor. The two worked together on three films, Billion Dollar Brain, Play Dirty, and The Italian Job. Tragically, however, Stanley was diagnosed with leukemia in 2008. After a long battle, he eventually succumbed to the sickness on January 13, 2013. Michael Caine was devastated by the loss, but recalls his time with his brother fondly. His real name isn't Michael Caine. Countless stars choose to change their name so they look and sound better on headlines and marquees. Michael Caine was actually born Maurice Joseph Micklewhite Jr. after his father. After he took up acting, he crafted the stage name Michael White, which he kept for a time before realizing there was another actor with the same name. Then he changed his name to Michael Caine, in homage to the film The Caine Mutiny. However, to respect his family history, he never legally changed his name. Some people refer to him as Sir Michael Caine because he was knighted in 2000 by Queen Elizabeth II for his contribution to film and drama. However, this is incorrect because he was actually knighted under his legal name. Therefore, his true name is Sir Maurice Joseph Mickle White Jr. He has a surprising hobby. Michael Caine has never released any music of his own, but he has a deep love for the art. He loves making playlists and compilations, and he even creates playlists for his closest friends. After sharing one of these compilations with his friend Elton John in 2006, John insisted he show his compilations to the rest of the world. In 2007, he released a CD called Caned, which featured his favorite songs. Michael Caine is an incredible actor and icon, but he didn't achieve success all on his own. Were you more surprised to learn about John Wayne's incredible influence on his career, or that Michael Caine fell in love with his wife through a TV commercial? Let us know in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to Facts First for more.